number one station in the street, Streets 94.5. You're going to Jazz and McBee. Got a special guest in the studio with me. Man, we play this guy's song every hour on the hour because it's blowing up in the streets right about now, and especially on our radio. What's up, man, Mark? What's going? What's going on? I'm chilling. Feeling Ch- great today. You feeling great? Yeah. You know, a lot of people may or may not know who Mad Mark is, so you let me know who Mad Mark is. Where'd you come from? I'm from the west side of Atlanta, Bankhead. Um, my grandma always lived on Camelton, so I always went to school on Camelton. But, yeah. So tell me how you got in, got started with music. I always loved music. Like I was always a kid, had my earphones in in school. Mm-hmm. Like, I always had my earphones in all day, just listening to music. Mm-hmm. And it got to a point where I was like, I could do this. It got well, it got to a point where I was just like, I can do this. Okay, I believe I could do this. Were you one of them little bad kids in school? <laughs> I ain't get caught. Okay, all right. So you one of the sneaky kids? I know. I know. I understand that because I was one of the sneaky kids too. I wasn't sneaky, sneaky. I just, I just didn't get caught with a lot of stuff. You know, you feel me? So, Mad Mark, you have this brand new single slide. Your record label is Wolfpack. Wolfpack Music Group. Okay, how did you hook up with them? Um, they they reached out to me. After, really? Yeah. So how did they reach out to you? What were you doing? Were you doing some stuff on like social media or? Yeah, I, I had just dropped the song Camelton, and it was going crazy on social media. Then I had been doing just going to different schools, like to going to, I'm to going to down there any high school. Really? If it's an hour away, middle school, elementary school, every pet rally, just and they just saw how I was working, and it attracted them to it. So did you use a lot of video for that and post it on social media or they just heard about you through the streets? No, I, I posted it on social media. I posted what I, I posted what I was doing on social media. But they they heard about me through the streets too though. Okay. Uh, they I um actually they heard about me through the streets before they actually saw what I was doing. That's what made them go look and see what I was doing. All right, so you say you were doing your thing, you would pull up to any school our way. That's the grind right there, because I feel like when I'm in radio, right, a lot yeah. of artists, new artists come to me, Jazzy, I need some advice, I need some help. But I always tell them, like, you have to you have to be out there grinding, and that grind is going to find you, just like Wolfpack found you. Yeah. What's the importance of just being out there hustling with music and staying focused on that? I feel like most important with hustling, you just got to keep going. Yeah. Like, don't stop. Just keep going. And then once you... If you do decide to sign to somebody, once you do sign, like, you got to keep it in your mind. Like, you still got to keep going. They mm-hmm. just got to add to what you're doing. It ain't, you know what I mean? You let out the gas. You got them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you let out the gas and then keep doing what you're doing. They're going to add to it. Don't get comfortable. Just keep going. You got to keep going and keep grinding. Yeah, keep uh, going. Now, I know the grind, man. <laughs> Sometimes it's just so hard and frustrating. And a lot of times you you want to give up because you don't see the end result. Time. Tell Come me on. about that time that you said, you know what, man, I ain't, I, this rap thing ain't for me. Like, take me back to that time when you said, I, I, I don't want to do this no more. It was like, I just feel like I could be making more money doing something else. Mm. And, but over time, just, it took, just being honest, it took a matter of the right person in my ear. Like, mm. You know, building a business, you gotta stick with it. You gotta mm-hmm. keep going. Shit, no matter what, it gonna mm-hmm. it gonna build up and shit. And that's what it been doing. Yeah, it been, it been building up yeah. since then. Been going up, so I just keep going with it. But yeah. I say that though, just me feeling like I could be doing something better. Yeah. So. yeah. Who was that person that was in your ear that told you to keep going, and you actually listen? Because a lot of times people don't listen. And they say, you yeah. know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'll do my thing. I'm gonna do what I want to do. But who was that one person that was in your ear that told you to stay focused and stay, stay connected to this grind? Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Yeah, Wolfpack. Okay. Yeah. See, see, yo, Wolfpack. If you know, if you know, if you know, you know him. But yeah, yeah, Wolfpack. Make it. Money. And being honest, like seeing how much they believe in me mm. when they get the time, I be like, man. Mm. Seeing how much they believe in me, it'd be like, shit. It'd be like, man, I just got to keep going. Mm-hmm. I got to keep going. I can't got them. Can't. I'm going to stop now. Facts, facts, <laughs> facts. Love it. So, 
What would be so wanna, different about wanna, Mad Mark? I, don't, I, don't, I ain't gonna say real because I feel like everybody said it. Everybody say they yeah, real. Everybody, everybody say that. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say style, like two thousand baby. Two uh, two. I was born in two thousand, so I'm gonna bring some two thousand baby style to the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ver. I it's 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 our era, so I'm bringing that to the table. That's what I'm bringing. Just okay. Make it general. All how right. We, how we grew up, you know, eighty babies. They had their era. They had their. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, nah, wait yeah, a my, minute. Yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah, my mama, y'all had. <laughs> hey, my mamas and daddies. Wait. Y'all had y'all time. Y'all hold express, on. Y'all express what y'all went through. It's, 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 it's our time. It's our time. Yeah, but you still got to. You got to respect the OGs nah, though. Like, nah, you feel me? Man, respect, I got to respect it. With our child, it wouldn't be no us. Fact. That's, so- that's 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 that's. that's I'm just saying it's our time. I ain't taking that from y'all. I'm just saying it's our time. But you still have people like Gucci and, yeah. you know, I think ba- Lil Baby is an 80 baby, right? Lil Baby, is he 80 baby? Okay, he's he not might, an 80 baby. Think, but you got you got people like I Dirt, Gucci. Like, they're yeah. still relevant in this game. Yeah, I you mean, know, no, Lil I'm Wayne, saying, which not, is one of your yeah. biggest mi- musical influences. Yeah, for sure. I'm not saying that they're not relevant. Well, you better clear it up then. What yeah, you saying? Yeah, okay. I'm not saying, I'm not saying <laughs> that nobody not relevant. I'm not down in nobody. I'm not saying none of that. I'm just saying, I don't feel like it's, a two th- it's too many rappers from 2000 who just expressing Atlanta like me. And I feel like this is my time to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I was born in 2000. Y'all went through what y'all went through. You know, we got our own era. Y'all listen. Y'all, hey, we get, y'all got money how y'all got it. We get money how we get it. You know, it's just, just like music. Everything changes. It's just our time. That's what I mean by that. I mean, shit, it's my time. Right. So tell me what's the difference between the 80s and the 2000s. Like something that the other generation don't know about the generation in 2000 that you came from. What would you want them to know or the world to know or the pop culture to know about some of the musical influences that you would bring to the table or the 2000 generation would bring to the table? So what's the difference, 80s and the 2000s? Between the ages, I say, like, a lot of music in the 80s, I ain't gonna lie, like, I still, I listen to, I listen to a lot of old music. The so, 80 Babies. Yeah, 80 Babies. I'm saying, like, I listen, I listen to a lot of old music. I ain't gonna lie. I still listen to Lil Wayne. Nah. But I just feel like it's about how. Because just like I heard um, Lil Wayne was saying he'll spend a week now trying to make a song because he be so focused on not trying to say what he done said before. And he he said, because the timing different, mm-hmm. what he used to say back then, he can't say it in that way now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I feel like it's just a matter of style. Yeah. Like it. Okay. All right. So what is next for Mad Mark? I just dropped the album. I'm doing it's 12 songs. I'm doing a video to every song on now. 12 songs, and you're going to do a video to each and every one of the songs. Video to every song on there. I love it. <laughs> so what's what's the what's the next um what's the next song? What's the next video that's coming out? They got to stay tuned for that. Stay tuned? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got to yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah, I got to stay tuned. Nice. So what are some of the features that, that who are some of the people that you, you want to collab with in the near future? I know you said Lil Wayne is definitely one of your, the the musical influences. So what are some of the other people you want to collaborate with? I say Future. Nice. I want to work Polo G. Nice. I yeah, like that one. I, like, I want to work Polo G. I can hear that. Yeah, and I as far as female artists be under which I'm, I'm really open to work with any, anybody. Cause they we got a lot of female artists yeah. that dope right yeah. now, man. I ain't gonna lie, I mean, uh, most most of them are going crazy. Like, most of them are going crazy. Well, Matt Mark sitting here with me. We're having a great conversation, getting to know each other, especially the fans getting to know you. Um, you have a lot of insight, especially you know coming to this game being new. But I see you going so far. You were definitely a star. I leave out with a, a midday motivational topic. So what's an inspiration that you can give to the 2000 generation or just someone in general just trying to grind and, and hustle and stay in the game? What was, what's that, the one phrase or the one quote that you always use to stay focused? Don't let nothing stop you from getting this money. Don't let nothing stop you from getting this money. Not how you feeling. Not 
what you thinking. Don't dwell on your, don't dwell on no bad feelings too long. Keep going. You got business to handle. Get this money. You got business to handle. Get this money. That's all they're going to matter in the end. Thanks. Love it. All right. So, Matt Mark, tell everybody about your album coming up, the project coming up, like er just everything that you have that's on the way. Yeah. Um, My album, MAD, it's out now on all platforms. Y'all go get that everywhere. Y'all can stay tuned in for some videos. Be expecting a 12 of, videos. Yeah, be expecting 12 <laughs> videos. Well, I, yeah. um, three are already down. Love it. Yeah, three are already down and out. Okay. Yeah, so nine more to go. All right. All right. So uh, any last words? Yeah, y'all get at me on Instagram, Twitter, all social media at Mad Mark, M A D M A R C C. Y'all can get at me on all platforms the same way, the same spelling. I ain't changing my name no time soon. Facts. And also right here on Jasmine B. And <laughs> Streets 94.5. <laughs> you better know. All right, Streets 94.5, we out.